वेलकम बैक टू लेक्चर नंबर टेन ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एनी बडी एज अ क्वेश्चन नो you must have seen conditional probabilities earlier in other courses have you seen that other than your 12th grade yes sir yes sir shivansh what are you saying can you repeat sir i said yes yes sir okay so p uh, a given b what does that mean probability of a given that p is occurring yeah b has already happened we know that we have that knowledge that b has already happened now what will be the probability of a for example uh uh let us say on an event a is uh occurrence of 3 on a dice on a roll of a dice okay and b is occurrence of an even number on the roll of a dice okay so what is the probability of a What is the probability of A? One by six. One by six, because there is you have six possibilities, and A is one of those possibilities. Okay, so and we are assuming that the their dice is fair, so uh, so the probability of any of those faces occurring is the same. Okay, so probability of A is going to be one by six. What is the probability of B? One by two. Huh? Sorry, huh? let me let me <laughs> make it odd. Okay. Yeah, what is the probability of B? Huh? And it will be one by two. One by two, three by six. Okay, three by six or one by two. Okay, you have three possible odd numbers and total possibilities are six, so three by six. Okay, so what is the probability of A? Once we know that B has happened, what is that? now when b has happened how many possibilities does b have how many possibilities does b have b has three possibilities okay and out of those three possibilities what is the possibility of a it means how many uh, such possibilities are are present in event a out of the three possibilities kitne kitne events one. possible kitne uh, vaishnavi what were you saying one one okay one so you have one possibility out of three okay one out of three so that is the probability of a no sorry no yeah that is right okay so now here we have to think about it okay so what about uh, there is uh, another uh, i think it's called as bayes theorem what is that that p a p A intersection B, okay. P A intersection B means P uh, A is happening as well as B is happening. Okay, let me uh, remove the intersection. P A B means P A and B both are happening. Okay, it is intersection means A. Uh, this is A B means A intersection B. Okay, what is P A B equal to? According to this, does anybody remember? It is P 
पी ए गिवेन बी इन टू पी बी एवरीबडी नोज दिस और नो यस सर ओके एंड सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस वॉट इज पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इस केस में पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी क्या होगा पी ए बी क्या होगा इस केस में इफ यू वर टू कैलकुलेट नॉट यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला ओके दिस वी ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी वी कैन यूज दिस एंड वी कैन गेट दैट बट वॉट इज पी ए बी वो क्या होगा ए हैपन्स एज वेल एज बी हैपन्स हाउ हाउ लाइकली इज दैट anybody sir 1 by 6 1 by 6 why do you say that sir aapne formula likha hai bagal mein usi se bol diya nahi nahi wo to main main janta hu usko nahi use karna hai baaki to wahi intersection dekhna hai ki dice pe roll matlab Odd number और उसका इंटरसेक्शन तो वही है ना कि ए ही हो गया है तो पी ए ही हो गया है या ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज वॉट दैट दैट एन एन ऑड नंबर अकर्स एंड ए थ्री अकर्स ओके इफ अ थ्री अकर्स एन ऑड नंबर इज ऑब्वियसली ऑलवेज गोइंग टू अकर ओके सो दिस इफेक्टिवली बिकम्स पी ए सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी वन ओवर सिक्स ओके एंड इफ यू वर टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला वॉट वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू गेट इफ यू अप्लाई दिस P A intersection B is one over three, okay, and P B is what? Three over six. Okay, so we get one over six. Okay. Anyway, the goal of this is this particular uh, uh, class is not to teach you this, but to use something a little more uh, uh, profound than this. Is that P A intersection b pb can also be written as p b int uh, in our intersection b given a into p a do you all agree with this yes sir. okay p a given b into pb is equal to p b given a into p a okay so this can be used in many places to find out uh p a given b okay is equal to p b given a and p a divided by p b okay is everybody clear with this so the reason we are doing this is because in some cases it is not easy it's not trivial to calculate p a given b okay but it is easy to calculate p b given a if we if this is easy to calculate then we can also calculate p a given b that is the, that is the point of this whole thing okay this is also called as bayes theorem okay actually bayes theorem is a little more involved than this so now p b given uh, p b can be written as what पी बी को हम क्या लिख सकते हैं लेट मी इट इज दिस बिकॉज वी नो लॉन्ग आर नीड दिस ओके सो पी बी कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी बी गिवेन ए प्लस P B given a complement. Do you all agree with this or no? Can we write this as? Can we write this or no? Yes, sir. Okay. If you if you were to look at the Venn diagram, okay. Let us look at a Venn diagram. Okay. So let us say that this is B. Okay. And let us say. that this is event so this circle is the event b okay and this this event the the this straight line uh, so this side is event a so this side is going to be what ye kya hoga a complement a complement okay
नाव इसमें कैसे बोले हम सर तो मतलब पूरा सैंपल स्पेस पे ही देखेंगे तो एक बार ए पे देखे तो आधा सर्कल आ जाएगा वो जो एक हाँ। उधर बाकी इधर आ गया तो सेम ही बात है नहीं वो तो सही है लेकिन ये सम कैसे हो जाएगा एक बार ए गिवन है तो उसके हाँ। साथ तो बी है वो हाफ मतलब वन बाय फोर सर्कल है और जब अनदर केस में कॉम्प्लीमेंट गिवन है तो अदर हाफ में बी इस सम ऑफ बोथ इज इक्वल टू इसको पी बी स्लैश ए को वो लिख सकते हैं ना पी बी इंटरसेक्शन ए बाय पी बी पी ए प्लस हाँ पी ए वैसे करके लिखेंगे तो हो जाएगा सर चलो ठीक है तुम तो सम... लेकिन मुझे वेन डायग्राम से समझ समझना था लेकिन मुझे अभी समझ में नहीं आ रहा है मैं और टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहता तुम लोगों का मैं और सोचूंगा फिर तुम्हें बताऊंगा एनीवे एवरीबॉडी गेट्स दिस नो लेट मी सी इट फ्रॉम सो पी ए बी डिवाइडेड बाय पी ए ओके एंड द अदर वन इज गोइंग टू बी पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी डिवाइडेड बाय पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज दैट ओके ये ठीक है हाँ ये दोनों टर्म्स ठीक है ओके लेट एस ट्राई इफ वी कैन फाइंड दैट फ्रॉम देर कैन वी मे बी येस What is P A complement? P What is P A complement? Oh. It is going to one minus P A. ठीक है? Is that okay? Sir, या तो P B A को P A B के form में लिखते तब शायद से जल्दी हो जाता है. मतलब वो last right right last में जो formula use किया है वैसे. हाँ. चलो अभी ठीक है इसको करके देखते हैं जो मैं मैं जिस तरीके से सोच रहा हूँ. So yes. let us uh, do uh, one minus पी ए वन माइनस पी ए इंटू पी ए बी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पी ए बी माइनस पी ए इंटू पी ए बी इंटू प्लस पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी ठीक है वॉट इज पी ए बी प्लस पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी वो क्या होगा पी ए बी प्लस पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी ये क्या होगा पी बी डू यू अग्री होगा या नहीं होगा उसमें पी ए मल्टीप्लाई भी तो होगा सर पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी में पी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी में क्या मल्टीप्लाई होगा आपने सर आपने मतलब क्या वो दोनों फ्रैक्शन एड किए ना है हाँ सर वो पी ए तो राइट साइड जाएगा अच्छा पी ए भी मल्टीप्लाई होगा सॉरी हाँ थैंक यू इन टू वन माइनस पी ए लेट एस सी सो पी ए बिकम पी ए कैन बी टेकन कॉमन फ्रॉम दीज टू एंड यू आर गोइंग टू गेट पी ए इन टू पी बी इज दैट ऑल राइट मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा पी ए कॉमन आ गया and p uh, we have pab plus pa complement b so what is that that is going to be pb is that all right or no sir wo minus hai na piche pa ke to are yaar baat to sahi bol rahe ho tum <laughs> sir usse hoga sir ab ko ba likh ke shayad se kaise sir venn diagram se matlab dekh sakte ho to sir main ek bar dekhta hu try karta hu uh, excuse me chalo chhodo isko yeah uh, so from the very first starting the formula of pb is not correct means if you are uh, substituting pb by a then it should be multiply probability of a and second one must be multiply with the probability of a complement then this will form ah uh, yes sir yeah you are right Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this was incorrect. So this is. Uh, let me 
go back. So PB is going to be PBA plus PBA complement. Is that okay? ठीक है? Because these both of these are independent. So PB can be written as PB into PB intersection A union A complement. Can you do that? ठीक है या नहीं है? Is that okay or no? Yes. Can, can we write it this in this manner? We can do that. No. And we know that P. So this can be uh, using distributive or whatever property. This can be written as P B intersection A union B intersection A complement. Okay. And both of these are disjoint. Is that a, is that a, is that reasonable? Do you all agree that this is going to be disjoint from this? Aya na? Yes, sir. Okay, since they are disjoint, so we can uh, use this uh, plus to get rid of. Uh, so just divide this. So this. Uh, thank you, Asha. So this is going to be P B given A into P A plus P B given A complement into P A complement. ठीक है So in that equation, इस equation में हम क्या कर सकते हैं इस equation में हम क्या कर सकते हैं We can replace this P by sum of these these quantities. So this becomes P B given A into P A plus P B given A complement into P A complement. Okay. Obviously, it doesn't make much sense to do this for this particular case, but uh, when you're so, if this is your sample space, okay, and this is your event B, and you have created, uh, let us say you have other events that are happening, okay, and those events are disjoint, okay, they look something like this. So this is event A one, A two, A three. A four, A five, until some A n. Okay, so what can you do? So for this general case, okay, for this general case where all your A i's are disjointed, you can write that your probability of A i given B is equal to probability of B given A i. Into probability of, or let me use a different word, different letter J, okay. Probability of A J divided by sigma i is equal to one to n, okay. Sigma i is equal to one to n p b given A i into p of A i. ठीक है? So this is a uh, a more general definition of your Bayes theorem. Anybody has a question here? So wh why why are we doing this? We are doing this because to calculate A J given B is difficult. Okay, we can easily calculate. B given A J, okay. B given A J is easy to calculate for us, uh, but P uh, A J given B is very difficult for us to calculate. So we use this particular methodology for finding out P A J given B, okay. So this is uh, uh, this was uh, found by a famous mathematician called Bayes, okay. Almost all of our probability theories are based on theories given by him, okay. Any questions? Anybody? Nope. Okay.
so let us talk about base classifier okay so again it's an extension of what we had discussed in the previous class but so you have a set of observations x1 y1 x2 y2 until xn yn okay and you want to create a classifier okay as we had previously discussed based on this observations that are given to you so your uh, test error your error can be defined as what error is sigma or 1 over n sigma i is equal to 1 to n y i is not equal to y i hat okay what is this function so this function i that i have written over there i y i is equal to y i is equal to 1 if y i is not equal to y i hat okay and 0 if y i is equal to y i hat okay so again please understand that these y's are your uh, your classification values okay your classes okay so the so what is this saying what is this i function doing anybody i function kya kar can you see what what is happening here shivansh are you there or you are gone all of you Yeah, yes, sir. I, uh, uh, I is adding all the values which are not uh, belonging to the class. Okay, Shivansh, what happened? Shivansh, you there? Vaishnavi, why don't you say, tell me what is what is happening? Sir, I had gone for one minute to the washroom. Okay, uh, Vaishnavi. Sir, so it is uh, adding all the values of. Which uh, do not belong to that. So it is okay. counting. So so this sigma function, this uh, this summation is counting the total number of errors that you are getting. Okay, total number of times that your so y i had is your predicted value. Okay, what is your 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 classifier giving you? Okay, the y i had is your predicted value. Okay, predicted value, and this y i is your observed value. Okay, so this is giving you. The your uh, total number of errors that you have, okay. And when you take one over n, you get the average number of errors, okay. So, uh, or not so error, error will be always between zero to one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Average, not uh, number of errors. Average error rate. So this is your error rate, okay. So, uh, what? So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we will get a value of 0 0.9 will it treat as an error if you get what 0 0.9 support uh, then no in in this error. case there is no, uh, i don't understand can you repeat uh, so as i is one when there is no error and uh, uh, sorry no zero no no, no there is, there is only two possibilities of i it can be yes. either 0 or 1 we are not calculating a probability here we are just calculating the exact so if it is if the your selected value uh, y ha y i hat is equal to y i then your error is zero if uh, if they are not equal then sorry this is going to be not equal to so if they are equal then it is going to not equal then it is going to be one that's all okay, okay so here probably so here we have already uh, what uh, we have already done whatever calculations we had to do okay to come up with the final predicted value in this case final predicted prediction is going to be what a, a class no you all do you agree yes sir. 
okay so in this case so uh, so this error is minimized this is minimized when y i hat is assigned to the most probable or what is it called most likely class okay again there are lots of mathematical theories to come to uh, prove this i am not such a good mathematician to uh, prove this but mm, please take it take it that uh, once you apply this particular uh, uh, methodology you're going to get the best possible outcome okay and this particular classifier is called as a base classifier okay that you assign this to the most likely class okay why i had to the most likely class we have already talked about this um, uh, in the previous uh, cl uh, class so um, we moved a little bit ahead uh, uh, i think i should have done this before the previous class but in any case we already done that so in that case we have done what humne usme kya kiya tha लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन नहीं लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन तो किया था लेकिन हमने उसमें भी प्रोबेबिलिटीज असाइन करी थी और हम यही कर रहे थे ओके वी असाइन इट टू द मोस्ट लाइकली क्लास इज दैट व्हाट वी डिड और नो यस सर बट व्हाई डू आई से दैट दिस इज बेटर देन दैट मैं क्यों कह रहा हूं ऐसा सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड डिफाइंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ क्या x as e to the power beta 0 plus beta 1 x over plus e to the power beta 0 sir so, but base classifier kaam kaise karta hai ye kaise pata hume matlab ki probability to the most likely class decide kaise karega isi formula se karega kya jo humne pichli baar likha tha wohi baat hai that is the question okay it is almost impossible to so, calculate y given x or x given y means one of these two is very difficult to calculate okay so therefore we have to come up with if we somehow magically knew this that what is the most probable class given so uh so what are we trying to maximize we are trying to maximize probability of y is equal to some class k okay given a value of x is equal to some xi okay some xi is given to you what is the probability that your uh your uh output is going to belong to the class k okay now we need to maximize this okay we need to find out the maximum value or maximum value of this with respect to k okay you have to find out the k for which this is maximum now it is easy to write this okay but in reality to calculate y is equal to k given x equal to xi is very very difficult okay that is what we were trying to do here okay that this is sort of uh uh an approximation of this okay again we are sort of blindly shooting here okay so it is not really a good approximation because it it really doesn't work that well okay it works well enough but it doesn't work really well so yeah who was somebody was trying to ask a question yeah So I was saying that uh, earlier we had a uh, reason where we could not uh, define the classifier. Look what value it will give. There was a reason. Uh, I forgot the name. In which we cannot decide which in which class the object will belong. So here okay. I think we don't. We will have this. We won't have this problem because values when they will be equivalent, uh, then it will like y i is equal to y i predicted. Then but uh, it will depend on how many values we are i am not getting your question sorry can you repeat so i am saying in that uh, we have just taken probability so uh, there was a reason in the whole area where we cannot assign that it belong to this class the classifier itself is not uh, not sure to which 
Yeah, but uh, that problem that problem will occur here also, no? Isn't it? So here, uh, as uh, because we are doing a supervised learning and we know our output what it should be, and if we are getting some predictive no, no, value, no, I I don't think this is going to solve that problem. So please understand that. So let us say that the probability, uh, let us say we have two classes, okay, and the probability for a given uh, uh, y is equal to let us say zero, given x comes out to be zero point five one. Okay. Let us see. If if you somehow knew all the base class uh, using this, if you know knew the exact probability, and let us say it comes out to be this value, 0.51, and it's a two-level system. Okay, two or two classes. Okay, by bi binary classification. So, do you think you are going to be very sure that this is going to belong to the class one, or sorry, uh, class zero? Meeta. No, so sir. if the probability that your output belongs to class zero, given a value of x comes out to be zero point five one, are you going to be hundred means very sure that this is going to be the case in reality? No, sir. In reality. So no. so it doesn't solve that that problem, okay? It tries to be as accurate as possible, okay? Uh, but again, we do not know how to calculate this, okay? so we are trying to maximize the probability that your y belongs to a class k given a value of x okay we are trying to find the maximum probability and we if we assign our output to this class then uh, for for a particular k where we get this maximum probability then we get the minimum error okay this is the theorem okay i'm not proving it i'm just telling it to you that please do that and then you'll get the right answer i mean is uh, the best possible outcome Okay, so this is base classifier also is also called as the best possible classifier. Is your question clear, Meera? Answer to your question. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is called as the best possible sir? classifier. This is yeah. Sir, why is this better than the previous one? I did not understand. is the previous one is an approximation so we we just wrote that this is the probability okay how do we get that do you understand in my previous class i just told you that this is the probability how do i come to know about that that this is the probability tanya are you are you asking the question yes yes sir so is it clear yes sir so that was just an approximation of this probability okay it was an approximation of this particular probability but uh, in reality we do not know that okay in reality we if we had that magical power we wanted to calculate the precise uh, probability of each of these classes given a value of xi but since we do not have that super power we try to make various approximations logistic regression was one of those approximations okay you can think of but it that way yeah but sir isme bhi precise to nahi aayega i think that is the point if we could precisely do that then uh, we would get the best possible classifier so okay, if we okay. could do that okay we are trying okay. to so various will use uh, to in today's class or maybe in the next class we'll make various approximations to this base classifier so that we can come as close as possible to the best possible classifier okay Anybody has a question? So in this case what will be your error rate? Error rate kya hoga is case mein? at so let us say at x equal to x0 okay one one we are doing a, an error rate calculation at one one value okay what is that going to be it is going to be one minus this do you all agree so what am i saying here so let us say i did did the calculation okay maine so let us say i have 10 classes okay i have 10 classes and somehow magically again i am i am doing a hypothetical scenario in a hypothetical scenario i know all the probabilities okay i can 
very precisely calculate each of these probabilities. Okay, I calculate y is equal to uh, zero, I get uh, a certain value. Y is equal to one, I get a certain value. Y is equal to two, and so on and so forth. I find that for y is equal to five, uh, my probability turns out to be the maximum. Okay, so I do a calculation here. So probability for a given value of this, uh, I get max k. I get k is equal to five. Okay, and at that k is equal to five, the probability is at k is equal to five, the probability is equal to let us say zero point seven. Okay, so the probability that uh, my output belongs to class K, given a, a particular value of x, which is x zero, is equal to zero point seven. So what can I say about the error? How much error am I going to get? What is the probability of error? Shivansh. One minus probability of. Yeah. So the error is going to be one minus. So I'm I'm seventy percent sure that my output belongs to class five. Okay. So what am I? What am I? What can I say that how much unsure am I? So what what probability is there that I am I am wrong? Okay. That is going to be one minus the probability that you are right. Okay. So the error in this particular case is going to be one minus point seven, which is point three. Okay. So if I were to do. Uh, Across all my observations, okay. Across all my observations, if I were to do uh, a calculation of my error rate, what do I get? Mera kya aega? Sabka error, sabka average. Do you all agree? Okay, it is going to be the average of all the errors. Okay, so uh, average of all the errors is going to be so the the net error rate. Okay, the total error rate. is going to be the average value which is also called as usually you call it expected value okay expected value ke liye kya karna hoga expected value of a plus b is x plus y whatever is going to be expected value of x plus expected value of y do you all agree or no hi ana yes okay so expected value of 1 Minus the expected value of max k probability y is equal to k given x. Okay, what is the expected value of one? Expected value of one? क्या होती है? हर बार बना, हर बार बना आएगा तो क्या आएगा? उसका average क्या होगा? One. Okay. So this is your This is called as the Bayes error rate. Okay, so this is your Bayes error rate. Okay, it's going to be one minus the expected value of of this quantity. Okay, and this is you cannot get any better than that. Okay, so this is also called as the uh, irreducible error. Irreducible error rate. Okay, your error cannot be smaller than this. Okay, why are, why am I getting an error? Okay, why is my classifier not fully uh, uh, correct? Okay, why 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 is that happening? Why is my classifier not fully correct? Any idea why that might happen? Overlapping of some properties. Yes. very good thank you meda so in the previous case i had shown you an example where this was my so we had a situation like this okay we had a situation like this so in this case there is a possibility that you can create a classifier which will do a perfect division of your classes okay but in some cases there is a there is uh, in not in some cases in most of the cases having such a perfect division is not possible okay so you are going to get an error let us say at the same point or a point very close to each other you get you have a cross over here and a zero over here okay then what kind of classifier can you make which will do a perfect division can you make a classifier like that can you make a classifier like that Okay, or 
this is your zero and exactly at the same point you're getting a, a cross okay what do you think you can do in this case kya kar sakte hain hum is case mein can you reduce error at all if if they are completely overlapping with each other for a for a, the same input i am getting two different outputs okay for two different observations obviously this is so you will have to call two rows okay one one row contains a value of x the second row contains the exact same value of x but both of them have different outputs okay one has a zero class and the other one has class 1 okay so w uh, can you create a classifier which can do a division perfect division in this particular case क्या प्रॉपर्टीज क्या मतलब अगर मैक्सिमम प्रॉपर्टीज ओवरलैप कर रही होंगी तो हम वी कैन नॉट से इन व्हिच क्लास या बिकॉज़ द ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज आर ओवरलैपिंग द एक्स इज कंप्लीटली द सेम एग्जैक्टली द सेम ओके बट वाइज आर डिफरेंट फॉर द टू कॉलम्स टू टू रोज सॉरी देन व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू से क्या होगा कैन यू क्रिएट अ क्लासिफायर शिवांश व्हाट डू यू थिंक मतलब कि ऐसे बना सकते हैं कोई भी बना के दिखाओ बना के दिखाओ कोई बाउंड्री एग्जैक्टली सेम पॉइंट पर एक क्रॉस एक सर्कल है कोई बाउंड्री बना सकते हो एग्जैक्टली सेम लाइन पे हां मतलब स्ट्रेट लाइन ही बनानी है नहीं नहीं x की x1 की वैल्यू भी सेम है सो दिस इज x1 दिस इज x2 फॉर द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ x1 एंड x2 लेट अस से 3.5, कॉमा फाइव ओके सो एक्स वन ये है एक्स टू ये है वाई की वैल्यू ये है ओके okay? एक कॉलम में हमारा जीरो है ओके okay? एक रो में ओके द सेकेंड रो लेटर से फोर सेवन यू हैव वन ओके एंड द थर्ड रो इज अगेन थ्री फाइव एंड द आउटपुट इज आउटपुट क्लास इज वन ओके सो ये हमारी एक रो है ये हमारी थर्ड रो है ओके एंड इफ यू लुक हाँ सेम पॉइंट पे है सर वो हां सेम पॉइंट पर पॉसिबल कैसे है पॉसिबल कैसे है मतलब अच्छा क्यों नहीं पॉसिबल है नहीं कैन यू सो लेट मी आस्क यू वन थिंग लेट अस से सिंस कोरोना इज गोइंग वेरी स्ट्रांग राइट नाउ टू पीपल हैव एग्जैक्ट सेम व्हाटएवर ऑक्सीजन लेवल और व्हाटएवर ओके okay don't you think that exact at the exact same oxygen let us say we were only measuring the oxygen saturation of blood of two people okay one person dies other person does not die exact exact same oxygen saturation level do you think that is possible or not yes sir it is possible no so don't you think this is possible yes sir it is possible no sir to to nahi bana sakte sir nahi bana sakte na koi possibility nahi hai so we are going to get uh, an error rate which is non non zero Do you agree? Yes, sir. Okay, so you are going to get a positive error rate in that case. Okay, because you cannot possibly make a classifier that can account for. And why is that happening? Why is that happening? We are calling that as an ir irreducible error. We already discussed irreducible errors in in our first or second class. Okay, so uh, can you uh, taking the corona example? Can you make some kind of? Uh, uh, means try to explain it why why this might be happening why is one person dying in the on the other other person not dying we all factor hoga sir yeah we yeah. are not including those factors so that is why we call this as an irreducible error rate based on what data we have we cannot reduce the error rate beyond this value okay any questions anybody otherwise we will stop we'll continue on friday uh did you uh, get a chance shivansh did you get a chance to look at the since almost everybody is gone only three people are remaining i think everybody is either not enjoying the class or something is happening shivansh do you know the reason why so so many people left today in the middle I any idea maybe intern season or some exam like that okay Anyway, usually only five, six people or five, six of you are there. 
<laughs> we have more TAs in the in the <laughs> attending the lecture than the number of students. Anyway, so. Hey, uh, intense reason के लिए शायद से पढ़ रहे होंगे तो ज़्यादा है आजकल उसमें interest हो हो सकता. Okay, in any case, uh, so if the TAs also don't want to come, that is also fine. But if you are in, if you find these classes interesting, then you can you are most welcome to join. But if you think that you are wasting your time, then TAs are also free to not come. Okay, so. uh i don't want to force you guys if you feel mm, anyway it was never a force but uh, i'm just giving you an option okay anyway uh, anybody has a question sir yeah sir ek request hai yeah so could you repeat this uh, base classifiers topic in the next class also in brief so okay so i'll do that doubt sir okay okay sir thank you okay okay anybody else nope okay then we'll continue on friday bye bye